welcome back to another cast video here on the Feed the Weird channel. My name is Chris and as you can see we are going to be making over a familiar face of the Sims 4 world, Summer Holiday. I've been wanting to make over Summer for the longest time. She is one of the um, one of the prettier Sims um, that are that were already created in the Sims 4 so I was really excited to make her over. I started off with Liberty Lee who lives in the same household as Summer and I think the reason why I wanted to start off with Liberty Lee as I said before is because she's kind of nerdy and dorky and not many people really I don't see people like gravitating toward Liberty Lee so that's why I did her first instead of Summer but since she's already taken care of I'm going to make over Summer today as you can see I had to get her a little naked and take off all of her clothes and take off all of the hair the makeup everything so just like Liberty Lee I did not do the um full cast edit I basically left their body shape and also their face proportions the same so all I'm doing is adding some adjustments <laughs> basically using all of the custom content that I have downloaded as you can see I am a big fan of screaming mustard as far as lipsticks and also their eyeshadows are very pretty I just recently downloaded not a skin but some blushes from them and I really enjoy using them so if you do have questions about what custom content I do use like I say in all of my videos most of the custom content that I do find either comes from the sim resource or tumblr so unfortunately I just go a little bit <laughs> a little bit hard when I download custom content I don't keep track of what I download I literally just Go on a shopping spree when it's concerned and just pick up everything. The only names that I really know are the ones that you're seeing on the screen right now. Like these are the only eye lashes that I use and those are from Kiko. I think that's the name. Um, those are the only eyelashes that I actually use in The Sims 4 whenever I'm making my Sims for cast videos because I, I like the way that they stay on the lid and you don't have to adjust the eyes. They just automatically adjust. So that's why I use them all the time. And like I just mentioned earlier, most of the lipsticks that I use do come from Screaming Mustard. That's just just how it is because, I don't know, their textures just look real. Same thing with the eyelashes, they just look real. Oh lord, I skipped ahead a little bit. Sorry, sorry. So <laughs> when editing, I miss placed one of the video files so okay we're back on track here sorry about the technical difficulties but for summer's look i wanted to keep it natural for her every day a little bit just added i feel like she's a gloss person so most of the lipsticks that i actually do give her are not a matte color they're more of a glossy shiny finish and also her eyeshadow is a little bit more dramatic than liberty lee's is it's a little more glam so, um, and then I realized I was doing this in sleep, which was, <laughs> oopsies. <laughs> but yeah, most of her, um, most of her looks are natural, but then also glam at the same time with all of her lipsticks with a nice little gloss and sheen to it. So, um, most of her clothes, as you will see soon, are also not ordinary how can i how can i describe her style what is summer summer is the all-american girl i feel like that's who she is so i tried to stay <laughs> within that um i can't remember what hair what hair did i finally pick it was hard picking a hair for her because i didn't want it to be too styled but i wanted it to look nice at the same time um i wonder what did I give her? And as you can see, most of the hairs that I do have come from Celtic. <laughs> as usual, per usual, that's what happens. Um, I don't think I went with this hair. Even though I stayed on it for a long time, I can't remember exactly what hair. I did like this one on her as well, but it was a little bit too straight. I wanted to give her more volume. Oh yeah, I stick with this hair. That's what I did. <laughs> okay. I had to see it on her because I kind of forgot. <laughs> so yeah, 
We went with this um, nice hair from, I believe it is from Celtic actually, with the, um, it's not bangs, but it's kind of like a, it's a middle part with some hair going off to the side type. So, and then for the, uh, what was it? Formal wear, we did a side swoop. For athletic, we did the ponytail sleep. We did the braided look. I believe I went with this. Yeah, I went with this hair for the party, I believe. Or did I? I think I did. And what did, oh yeah, we just did a simple ponytail for the beach. So I was kind of happy with that. The only thing about using hairs from different creators is that sometimes the actual color doesn't match up with the hair that you already have on previous outfits so it gets a little bit tricky <laughs> so that's the only thing that I was like annoyed with because I don't believe her party hair looks like her everyday hair because it came from two different custom content creators but what can you do what can you do they all don't have the same color palette <laughs> so this I think this is me looking for that Cause she has kind of like a dusty blonde, I feel like she is her hair color. So it's like a dusty, vibrant blonde at the same time. It's definitely a natural blonde. It's not a platinum blonde or even a lavender blonde. It's just a strictly dusty, beachy blonde. So, so now we're gonna get into all of her looks. <laughs> No, I was not going to go with that dress originally. I had just downloaded it, so I wanted to see what it looked like. <laughs> That's definitely not her style. But I believe we go with... I wanted to keep the blue theme, so I gave her this really cute... I would call it a baby doll dress that she's wearing. Um, it just looked really... It looked like something she would wear. Because originally she was wearing a polo with, I believe, a pleated skirt. But this looked a little bit more sophisticated and I finally found somebody to use this purse with so I was really excited <laughs> she's the only person I could see with that purse so I gave it to her and I believe I put her in wedges I can't remember I put her in some type of heels I believe those were the heels that we went with and it was kind of sucky because I wanted to give her that purse but then I realized that she couldn't have a necklace so we dished a purse and we put on the necklace. And I realized during while making this video, but <laughs> while making this video that I need to download more accessories. I don't have enough of them. So most of the accessories that I use in my videos come from the base game. But that will be my mission for the weekend since I have this weekend off. I'm so excited about that. But yes, I have this weekend off, so I will be custom content shopping. And when I saw this dress on her, I was like, yes, it was made. Even though she looks like Barbie right now, and I can't stand Barbie. Ugh. But Summer, Summer, Summer is Barbie <laughs> to me. She's the Barbie of The Sims 4, honestly. <laughs> and um, what's her face? I think I might be making her over next. Zoe. Zoe is definitely Teresa. I haven't found Christy yet. I don't believe Christy exists in the base game. <laughs> but yeah, Summer is definitely Barbie. And I made her into a lot of Barbie, but kept it. Instead of pink, she has lots of blues. And these Victoria's Secret um, workout clothes were perfect. So I put her in a lot of Vicky's Secret. And I gave her her Nike shoes, which I use for almost every sim that I create. I have to find some more tennis shoes. And I was surprised that um, Summer was really fit. And I didn't really know her traits until I started making her over. And she is a active sim, so that's why she has those abs. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to give her like some jogging shorts and a crop top because, hey... She has abs, why not let her flaunt it, you know? Let's let her flaunt her stuff. Um, I don't know if I settled on this though. I think I, oh yeah, I wanted to give her some real running shoes instead of like those crappy ones <laughs> of the Nikes. They just didn't seem like real running shoes. So I gave her this little silk um, 
sleepy thing, sleep nightgown, sleeping gown, I don't know, dressing gown, that thing that you saw. And I went with the sparkly, I believe. I didn't go with this one. I went with the sparkly dress for her party wear because it seemed like something she would wear. Something really fun and sparkly and not as revealing as this dress with like the what is it, bottom boobage. <laughs> it was a lot of bottom boobin boobage action going on. So I think I went with that dress and everything else just seemed a little bit too revealing. She doesn't seem like a sim to me that would wear super revealing clothing. So we just went with something sparkly and put her in the really, what's sh what shoes did I use? I forgot. Let's see and we're gonna find out. Okay, we put her in those. Okay, we put her in her trappy heels. That's fine. And of course I have to add nails to all of my sims. That is a given. What? Oh, I was doing a necklace of this, okay. I still haven't found a sim where I can use that first shawl. <laughs> I don't think I wanna find a sim where I can use that. <laughs> well, we're coming to a close now here. I'm just adding on her bathing suit, but we should be going through a scroll of everything now. If you wanna check out the Makeover Liberty Lee, make sure you click on the annotation at the end. And as always, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you would like. Alrighty guys, until next time, keep feeding your weird. See ya.